Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining me today. The question today is how to drive on the German Autobahn. Ah! Whoa! So I found this video, four important rules of the Autobahn. American guy in Germany, perfect. Because yesterday I watched a video about driving in Germany compared to America. And he was like, there's all these videos about how to drive on the Autobahn. I was like, that's a brilliant thing. I need to know. All right, let's see. Try to compare it to American highways. Hello, guys. This is Tom, the American guy oh, hello. in Germany. Let's talk about some Autobahn fun facts. This guy's driving a Hyundai in Germany. Are you allowed to do that? Not an Audi? guy in Germany. Let's talk about some Autobahn fun facts. Oh, well, that was kind of weird. There was oncoming traffic on this ramp. Here in America, if you have an on-ramp onto the highway, you're not really going to have... I don't think you're ever going to have oncoming traffic on that same ramp. So 70% is speed limit free. There is an advisory Whee! speed limit of 130 kilometers per hour or 80 miles per hour. You can see the fatality rate is 1.74 persons per 1 million kilometers traveled compared to 3.38 in the States. Oh, I feel bad for that 0.74th of a person. Not much left of them. But that's really interesting. So half the amount of fatalities per million miles. Is that because of the Autobahn or just because Germans are... Um, they, there's less stupid people. <laughs> the Autobahn is really well maintained. They use antifreeze concrete so that it doesn't crack in the winter. Uh, uh, can you ship some over here to America? That exists? If that exists, then why don't... Is that some kind of government conspiracy why they don't use that? Are they trying to keep the people employed who have to constantly fix the highways? And there's no tolls, which is awesome. If you compare it to Italy or Austria, they do charge tolls. And in Germany, it's different. The roads that are paid for by the fuel and car taxes. What was this car doing? It's pointed the wrong way. So let's talk about merging oh. onto the freeway. Use the acceleration lane to get quickly up to the speed of traffic. Turn on your blinker early and keep an eye on traffic. And as the merging vehicle, you have to find a proper gap. Others are not allowed to brake and disrupt the flow of traffic to let you on. They're not allowed to. That's a law? You're just not allowed. You're like, sorry, bro. I'm not allowed. I'm, nothing I can do. I'd slow down for you, but I'm not I'm not getting a ticket for you. Huh. I kind of like that because here in America, it's really awkward. Nobody knows, you know, there's some people will let you on, some people won't. It's almost better just to be like, nope, nobody lets anybody on. Check your blind spot, find a proper gap, and enter the flow of traffic. Got to stay on the right in case there is no gap, and make sure not to cross. Wow, that was a very short merge lane. I would be super nervous if people are going 100 miles an hour and I only have this much time to merge. Any solid lines. So one important rule on the freeway is, or on the Autobahn, you have to stay on the right. It is incredibly well maintained. They've got this black line going down the middle. I'm not sure what that is. At first I thought it was like filling into the concrete, but it goes the whole way. That is called the Rexfahrgebot. Rexfahrgebot. So rule one, Stay on the right. you have to drive as far to the right as possible, especially when getting passed up, or if you're on a hilltop, in a curve, or in foggy conditions. But isn't it just always? He says, especially when getting passed by hilltops, but isn't it just flat out, you always have to stay on the right conditions if you're not passing. 
Rule number two, the left lane can only be used to pass by other vehicles. Afterwards, the driver has to get back into the right lane. There is an exception to this if the next opportunity to pass somebody is approaching. Rule number three, the middle. So next opportunity to pass someone is, does that mean if there's two people in a row you're trying to pass, you can just keep going, keep going. That makes sense. Rather than getting, going over, getting behind, getting over. You pass everybody, then you get over, maybe. The lane can be used continuously if one or more slower cars are occupying the right lane. This is to avoid building lines of cars. Mm. Rule number four, if however the right lane is clear for more than 20 seconds, then one must switch back into the right lane. It's a weird law. Is that a law? 20 seconds? Because that would be really hard to enforce. Is that just kind of the rule of thumb? Clear for 20 seconds. Interesting. Okay, here in the States, the middle lane is basically the same as the right lane. Like as long as you're not in the far left, People aren't really going to be honking at you to like get over if you're going slow. If you're in the middle lane, you know, they can go on the left, go around you. Here you can see a digital speed limit. These change speed based limit. on the weather conditions and the traffic conditions. That's brilliant. Wow, that is so smart. Welcome to the future. That, there's n that, that makes so much sense. Man, we need that, especially for weather when it's been snowing and or super heavy rain. It's so frustrating to get out there and drive and people are honking at you, flying around you because you're going you know, under the speed limit, but they want to go over. It would be much, much nicer just to have a lower speed limit. It really doesn't look that, it looks quite pleasant now that I look at it. You know, it's not like super scary. <laughs> Ever driven on the Autobahn? No. What kind of car would you drive if you could pick any? Audi. What's the craziest thing you've experienced on the Autobahn? I just told you, I never drove on it. So by now, I probably should have gotten into the right lane, but on the other hand, this truck is coming up here, so I stayed in the middle lane. Makes sense. Makes sense. If there's a lot of space. This is funny. We're like commentating over the most mundane driving. Yes, yes. Wow, look at that. A lot of time now to get into the right lane, then I should get into the right lane. Now, what are these cars doing? Shouldn't they be getting over? Look at that. There's like three in a row. Nine, 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 nine. Now he's passing on the right lane. But of course you can't pass somebody up in the right lane. So that means that this white car right here, I have to slow down. I can't pass it up on the right. Wow, that explains my question I had yesterday. He, this, this jerk is actually affecting you even though you're not in his lane. That would be even more frustrating. <laughs> it's like you're stuck behind him, like he has an invisible wall next to him. You're stuck behind him, even though he's not even, you're not even actually behind him. He needs to get over. Now he's going in the left. See, now this is, this is where it's getting strange. Okay, I would be stopping at this red light. I'd be <laughs> slamming on my brakes. Red light. What's that? Oh, here, by the way, you see these speed limits with the slashes through them. That means that the previous speed limit is no longer valid. You can go faster. Okay, rules for oh. passing on the Autobahn. Check, set your signal. That, that's interesting. I didn't think about that because... In a lot of spots, there might be a speed limit, but then you have to say, all right, no more speed limit. Whereas here in America, you just have a new speed limit sign that says this, there's always a speed limit. Look over your shoulder and check your blind spot. 
When clear, quickly pass up the other vehicle and get back to the right lane. Once you see the pass car in your rear view mirror, according to the drive right rule, passing can only be done on the left. Okay, I can see some transporters coming up here. So I'm gonna switch Whoa, to the middle that lane. that car came out of nowhere. Okay, so you can go two lanes at once. It looks very organized compared to America. Overall, it looks much more organized. See ya. See ya. It's actually kind of pleasant. Now I'm gonna to have to get back into the middle lane. I could have done that a little more quickly, actually. And now get over again. <laughs> or, uh, I mean, I guess, what about this car? That Beamer's going pretty quick. Sometimes you get passed up with cars going like 250 kilometers an hour. It's crazy. That would be so, oh man, that would be the scary part when people do that. Like you're ready to switch lanes, you check your blind spot and whoo. <laughs> Good thing I didn't go. Bad drivers go this way. I like that. So the bad drivers have to go off. They have to take that exit. Oh. Then you've got the good drivers. So soon I'm coming up to my exit. Got the, got the Autobahn. Exit. I'm going to have to get into the right lane. Hopefully that exit just for the bad drivers just goes into a brick wall. Or off a cliff. Upon exiting, there's also some things to be aware of. Get in the right lane in time to exit. You want to set your signal 300 meters before exiting, and you're not allowed to start braking until you reach the deceleration lane. I'd be trying to do calculations in my head. Okay, one meter is this long. 300. 300 meters. I guess that's not, it's really not that far, considering how fast they're going. It'd be like, two seconds, I feel like, to travel 300 meters. Maybe it would be a little longer, maybe like four seconds, huh? Five seconds, <laughs> I don't know. Was that a cop? All right, that's about it for our drive today. Thanks so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Please make sure to give this video a like and a comment, write whatever you would like. Are there three lanes always on the Autobahn? About driving on the Autobahn, have you done it before? How fast did you go? It's so pretty, it's so well maintained. Look at that, just perfectly paved and painted. Oh, what do you think about driving on the Autobahn compared to the U? This is so, this is kind of strange to me as an American. You have all this oncoming traffic as you're taking the off ramp. U.S. Interstate. Thanks for watching. See you next time. That was cool. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, we basically got a POV of just a dude driving down the Autobahn. He explained some things. I like the dynamic speed, sp sp uh, speed limits. That's really cool. Um, we could definitely use that here in America. And then overall, it just looked a lot more well-organized. American highways you guys would hate driving over here I'll tell you that right now if that's what you're you're used to um, the only thing that I could see being scary is the <laughs> um, but that's really cool that was fun thank you for watching I hope you have a fantastic day go check out um, American guy in Germany his link is down below and hey uh, hi, goodbye.